Hello everyone, I'm Rowena. I'm Savina, and you're watching This Associate. A few weeks ago, we actually posted a video on facial serums, which was part one of this series. We spoke about four different kind of serums in that video, namely niacinamide, vitamin C serum, hyaluronic acid, and exfoliating serums. Yes. We highly, highly recommend you check it out, and we will link that video right here. So go check it out. A quick recap though before we begin with the part 2 what are serums serums are skin care products with high concentration of certain ingredients which help you to target specific issues within your skin all right then wait 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 we have made an upgrade in our audio and video systems do you like it i hope you do all right so now let's get back right into the video the first serum that we're going to talk about today is alpha arbutane serum now, alpha arbutene is a wonderful ingredient that works by reducing hyperpigmentation in your skin. How it does that is a little bit scientific. So brace yourselves for this very complicated explanation. <laughs> we'll be dropping some science up in this baby. So, alpha arbutene is a tyrosinase inhibitor, which means that it reduces the activity of tyrosinase in your body or in your skin or in your system, basically. Now, Tyrosinase is responsible for production of melanin in your skin. Yes. Melanin is something that's in our body which gives color to our skin, our hair, and our eyes, specifically our pupils. Yes. Pale skinned or white skinned people mm -hmm. have less melanin in their body as compared to us, brown, brown people, people, or black people. Okay, so back to alpha arbutene. So how it works is it reduces the tyrosinase activity which then reduces the melanin production, which then reduces the hyperpigmentation on your face. Which then of course gives you a very even toned appearance on your skin. The next serum that we are going to be talking about is the tranexamic acid serum. Tranexamic acid is more recent in the skincare industry mm -hmm. as opposed to alpha arbutene, which has been there and been researched for decades. And the way tranexamic acid works is also very, very scientific. scientific. So, we will link below a video by Dr. Alexis Stevens on complete information about how tranexamic acid actually works. So, tranexamic acid, just like alpha arbutene, is a wonderful ingredient to tackle hyperpigmentation. For some people, tranexamic acid works better, for mm -hmm. some, alpha arbutene works better. Tranexamic acid apparently is really good in treating a very well known skin condition called melasma. The next serum we're going to talk about is the Azelaic Acid Serum. Azelaic Acid is also a stellar ingredient to treat hyperpigmentation. It has been in use for roughly around 30 years in the skincare industry and it also has excellent antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties. Just like alpha arbutene, Azelaic Acid is also a tyrosinase inhibitor which means that it reduces the tyrosinase activity, which thereby reduces melanin and thereby reduces hyperpigmentation. But in addition to that, it also works by A, countering the free radicals that cause inflammation and B, by killing the bacteria which causes acne in your skin in the first place. All right, so that was it for part two of our serum series video. And all three of the ingredients that we mentioned work excellently with hyperpigmentation. It is just your duty to try and test them out individually mm -hmm. and see which works best, best for, you. for you. It's all about the trial and, and error. There's still a lot of wonderful skincare ingredients and serums out there in the market which we will speak about perhaps in another video. Alright then, that was it for today's video and if you like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and we will see you in our next video. Bye!